Bienvenidos a México. Mexico's vibrant capital has it all. Great food, colorful architecture, creative street art, history, and it's totally budget friendly. Although most people visit the beach destinations in Yucatan, next time you go, try to combine it with Mexico City, as it will give you an all around Mexican experience that is worthwhile. When it comes to pastries, I never really gave it much thought, but Mexicans are so creative with it. I mean, look at all of this! In Mexico City, make sure you enter a couple of local bakeries, because just the sight of it is a real treat. And if you love churros, make sure you stop by El Moro Churreria, although the milkshakes were my favorite. This place has been around since 1935 and was created by Francisco Iriarte, a Spanish guy who moved to Mexico. Other than that, you can find many churro vendors on the street, which sell these filled ones which I love. This is a Tres Leches cake, which is a sponge cake soaked in three different kinds of milk and the perfect treat for someone with a sweet tooth like me. The origin of this cake is disputed, but you can eat this in many places in Central and South America. Another must in Mexico City are the tacos. And these ones are just 6 pesos, which is 30 cents. Since I don't eat meat, I was frijoles and patatas all the way, since most places offer mostly meat and these were the only other options. It sounds plain, but the Mexicans marinated so good that it was rich in flavors. The colorful graffiti and street art in Mexico City took me by surprise. It offers such a bold and beautiful contrast to the ancient architecture and you will find them in places you wouldn't expect, such as this playground for kids. But graffiti isn't the only creative expression you'll find in El DF. Look at this vertical garden with bikes. This is one of three eco sculptures installed across the city by a non-profit called Verd MX. It's not only eye-catching, it also helps clean the air. And make sure you take time to take a picture for Instagram on this playing card bench on the Paseo de la Reforma, a very broad street with interactive art that reminded me of Paris. But when it comes to art in Mexico, I automatically think of Frida Kahlo, and you can visit her museum in the Colonia del Carmen neighborhood of Coyacan in Mexico City. It's a beautiful blue house, which reminded me of the Jardin Majorel in Marrakech. The museum was the birthplace of Calo and is also the home where she grew up, lived with her husband for a number of years and eventually died. I loved Mexico City's contrast. Start at the Palacio de Bellas Artes and take a selfie there. Then go shopping on the Avenida Cinco de Mayo. This street reminded me so much of Barcelona in Lisbon and it also had the Casa de los Azulejos, which is also something typically Portuguese.
Once you come to the end of the street, you'll arrive at the Zócalo where you'll find a huge Mexico flag and the letters. For high-end shopping and modern design, go to the neighborhood Polanco. Here you'll find this modern shopping mall and the Museo Somaya, the city's most striking piece of architecture. Polanco is also the neighborhood where a lot of travelers stay, as it's more high-end and more people speak English here. I loved exploring Mexico City and I hope you enjoyed this video. To wrap this video up, I wanted to end on a musical note with my two local guides who showed me around, Irvin and Yesenia.